We'll have some fantasy must plays for week nine. We kick things off with the six and two Vikings at the five and three Chiefs. If there was such a thing as comeback player within an NFL season, Kirk Cousins might be the hands down winner. A month ago, he was labeled an $84 million bust. His receivers weren't happy with him, and they were asking to be traded. Fast forward to now, Vikings have won four straight. Cousins leads the league with a 115 quarterback rating. Meanwhile, KC, they've lost three of their last four. Matt Moore nearly led the Chiefs back last week against Green Bay, and Patrick Mahomes is doing everything he possibly can to get back on the field, Hub. Well, you talk about Kirk Cousins, yes, the 115 passer rating, very impressive, but look at the average per pass, 9.3. I remember the last time I saw that in the NFL. He is completing 72% of his passes. Will Adam Thielen be okay with that hamstring? He's had three extra days to rest. They played a week ago Thursday night for the Chiefs. Not only have they lost three of their last four, they've lost all three at home. Could they lose a fourth straight home game? Yeah, you've got uh, Patrick Mahomes practicing a little bit, but Matt Moore played very well last week against Green Bay. He's not the reason they lost, and so, Dave, do they push Mahomes too soon out of panic to try and avoid that fourth straight loss at home? Yeah, I, I, I still, I mean, that, that was a man a chance to beat the Packers, you know, with Matt Moore, as you said. That was impressive. I think there'll be a, there'll be a playoff team, obviously, but, but they're, the home field will probably lose down the road. Uh, Minnesota, though, you, you mentioned Cousins. I got to come back to him. You know, and it's not like he's playing great and he's throwing 50 passes a game, guys. You know, he's still throwing the, about the number that he was throwing early when he wasn't playing good. He threw 26 passes last week, right? And, and you see the completion percentage, but he's not taking sacks. And he's not throwing interceptions. You combine that with the leading rusher. Defensively, they got Pro Bowl players on all three levels. Dan, we know that. Up front, linebacker and secondary. I mean, they're a complete football team. They are a complete team, especially when you get them inside. They're going to go on the road on this one, and it may not be that warm. The one thing about Patrick Mahomes, yeah, they, with Patrick Mahomes, Kansas City can beat the Vikings. Can they beat him without Patrick Mahomes? We're going to find out if he is not going to be ready to go. But Matt Moore, maybe player, a comeback player of the year, had a great night against the Packers, come up a little short. But the one thing is, now with Tyreek Hill back, Kelsey is going to be a bigger factor. Even if they go with Mahomes, they can go with the quick three, four, five-step drops, get the ball out of his hands. And think about this. They win in, in this game. They go to Tennessee. They can win with more there. They come back home against the Chargers, win there. They go to eight and three at the halfway point. I, or, or, or at the bye. I think we're going to see Mahomes. I like the Kansas City Chiefs. Only coach is going with Minnesota on the road in that one. Next up, five and three Texans at four and four 